Hello and welcome, Torians, to your January 2022 general reading. So, we will sort of divide the video slightly in areas so it is easier to understand. We will be looking at the overall energy for the months of January 2022. And then we will look at your emotional core. This could be trauma that needs to go. could also be love. Um, and then lastly, we go into the area of opportunities, <clears throat> excuse me, which is normally what sustains you financially. And when I say normally, it's because I only work here and I have no idea what the guides are going to say. Now, before we do any of these things, it is probably important to realize that obviously the new year starts off with not necessarily conflicting, but to a certain extent opposing energies. So, the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night. They are normally very close to one another, so they affect each other. And yet, on January the 2nd, we have a new moon, which obviously means the year starts off with you, Torians, and the rest of all of us, that makes sense, <clears throat> getting the energy of let's start something, let's begin anew, <clears throat> which makes perfect sense since this is the new year. But because the new moon has no illumination whatsoever and it takes two weeks before the new moon reaches the face of the full moon, light comes in very slowly, sort of trickling in. Therefore, whatever it is you manifest or whatever it is you have planned to get going might not happen straight away and might not happen super dynamically because things do take time. It is not a bad thing to begin with. And somehow, here's the opposition. What's happening on the 4th of January, <clears throat> did I say 4th of July? No, 4th of January, <laughs> is that we are at perihelion. And what that word means is that the Earth will be at its closest point towards the Sun. So it's very close to the Sun, which means that we're getting, since the Sun is actually what gives you your energy, you know, the the sign the sun was in when you were born becomes your star sign, which in fact is really your sun sign. So while we're starting things off slowly, but with the intention to get things going, on the 4th of January, so in the first week of this month, we're getting a massive boost. So we can plan things a little, go slowly with regards to executing our ideas, and nonetheless give it our all and go like, okay, this might maybe take a while, but I'm so fired up about things that they will absolutely be a success. So while this then initially sounded like an opposition, it's actually a working together, albeit very differently, energetically speaking, right? So that happens to all of us since this is happening in the first week of January 2022 which obviously then, energetically speaking, will inform the rest of the months. So now let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Taurus. Let's see what you got. It's quite interesting here because the information does not come easy. So what that means is that most of you Toreans haven't really got a plan. <laughs> and um, you're not you're not really you don't really need to have a plan if that makes sense. Because New Year's resolutions are a weird thing, so we're not even talking about New Year's resolutions, but what the new year, especially with the fourth of January being uh, Earth being so close to the sun, is to kick things off properly and not allow yourself, Torians, to be held back by whatever happened uh, in your life 
right, or in 2021, because you have the coral, then you have the ruby, and it is the one in the middle, which means it makes it the most important energy, and then the outgoing energy is the cherry. So I will explain all this. The coral is literally saying to you that it is important in January to just find harmony and allow yourself and the situations you're in to flow. Find a flow. Now, remember, on January the 2nd with the new moon, that's what your soul is actually planning. Yeah, let's have a new beginning, let's start new, <clears throat> right? But again, takes two weeks um, until it reaches the full moon, which is full illumination, and then there is the boost on the 4th of January. So in, in other words, this is about realizing that synchronicity is what you are after, and it probably will hit you, like, wow, so that's where I'm going, kind of stuff. But the trick is not to wait for this to happen. The trick is just going like, okay, whatever has happened. So again, this, the year starts off uh, very reflective, right? Um, so Taurians, you are looking for synchronicity. You want to know where you belong and where you are, which brings us to the one in the middle, which is your ruby which is all about rejuvenating your body mainly. So what they're saying is it's pointless um, thinking you can just, you know, um, walk away from the trauma of the past and just go like, well, you know, screw all that. I'm going to start over. <clears throat> Even if you wanted to start over, this is literally saying to you, remember that you are still carrying some trauma and some pain. So find a way to release that your outgoing energy is the cherry and you know it's sort of literally symbolism put the cherry on top it's like the cherry on top and the cherry is literally saying to you as a <laughs> as a symbol um you you did come here to live an extraordinary life but living an extraordinary life does not mean to abandon any trauma and any pain you have gone through because that also really made you who you are up to that point. So let's just quickly summarize. While yes, absolutely, this is about new beginnings and finding where you belong at the same time, you say it and use it warts and all. The way you feel is the way you feel. There's no need and no reason to hide. And if there are things where you probably need therapy or if there are things that you need to cry out remember tears are sacred medicine allow yourself to do all this this is your overall energy for the month of january and my feeling is regardless of whether or not there is a booth a boost coming to you on the 4th of january it would be wrong to rush things right because the new moon time-wise precedes the, the perihelion so therefore you are advised to go with the flow and allow the light as it were to come in slower right so now let's have a look at the um your emotional core it's also interesting because obviously we have a lot of overlapping energy every single month and so that was a lot about your emotions already but now let's have a closer look at your emotional core and you have the owl and the moon in Aquarius. This is all symbolism. The owl is literally telling you that you, what you came into this year with is the feeling of being in crisis, if that makes sense. And so you came here with a bit of a low energy and all the, all the, the owl is saying, symbolism again, be wise about it. Because anything that is painful has the tendency to slow you down. So emotionally, you feel like you're a bit slowed down. When things are slowing down, it allows yourself to see what's what and where you're going. So ultimately, what I'm hearing for Taurians in the beginning of 2021, this is your general reading for January 2022, obviously, is to understand that in order to get almost like revelations, where, where is my life leading? It is not a mistake to slow down 
and observe, if that makes sense. And then you have the moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is very giving, is the, the overflowing cup, right? So what they're saying is just by realizing what no longer serves you, which is really part of this, um, once you realize this, it actually calls for a celebration. So while they're asking you to not be super, <clears throat> super fast and, and super pushy with things, celebrate every little step along the way, every little thing that makes it, that makes you feel better and to a certain extent more complete. <clears throat> right? So that is your emotional core. What they're saying to you is, right, pat yourself on the back for anything and everything that you actually do achieve. Right? Okay. Now finally we're going into the area of opportunities. This is your January 2022 general reading for the sign of Taurus. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now support me by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, opportunities are actually numerous, but they all have to do with your energy, right? And that's why we're putting the topic or the area of emotions in the middle of all these topics because ultimately how you feel about things um, informs how quickly and how how intently and how intensely you look at things. Ultimately what the guides are saying to you in order to because you have the apricot to begin with. So what that means is we choice. In order for you to actually um, attract opportunities, all they're saying to you is be lighthearted. You know, laugh about stuff. Have a good time because that also helps you rejuvenate. And remember, one of the messages for you was to rejuvenate your body. So why stop there? Rejuvenate your mind as well. right? And that's the very first message here with regards to you attracting opportunities. right? The moment your energy is low, you manifest on that level. And therefore, if you have a higher energy, new beginnings and, and better opportunities can come to you quicker. And then right in the middle, you have the rose and magenta. And uh, so they're obviously overlapping because they're, they're, they're all in the, in the realm of red, if that makes sense. And so they're both colors that remind you that the main energy of your of that part of the reading is about you being grounded right really really important so the rose is basically saying to you um okay sounds a bit weird because obviously the rose represents love <clears throat> but what i'm getting is is to actually attract love and that might not be about relationships because this is about opportunities love is the highest energy that we can produce and having having the term attract love can be translated into attracting a relationship and while i'm not saying this can't be about love it's it literally obviously sits in another area it sits that energy and that message sits in the area of opportunities right and so what that means is literally for you is to assess if what it is you do actually makes you happy and fulfills you and ultimately that is the main goal the relationship you have with whatever it is you do um, informs your, your your entire life and then magenta as the next reddish color <clears throat> right afterwards is basically saying while you're at it while you're looking at Okay, how much do I actually like what I do? <laughs> it's also therefore reflecting on, on, on what you know in your core. Your inner knowledge will tell you whether or not you're in the right place or the wrong place. And when this happens within the realm of the color red, the area of the color red where everything is, is about being grounded, <clears throat> it's about time, if that makes sense, to listen to your soul. Don't do things just because you get paid well if you're not really happy about this, right? Choose the opportunities that fulfill your soul rather than your pockets, right? Because the outgoing energy is the peach. And 
the, the, the peach is really about breathing. So what they're saying is, you know, manifest and create a life from which you would need a vacation, <laughs> for want of a better word. You know, and then inhale that and go like, I'm taking this all in. And by achieving what, what is called the breath of life, once you know who you are and where you are at with regards to living a life that is authentic, which is sort of the, 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 the final message here for this reading and for the area of opportunity, that's what they're asking you to do. Become who you are, reflect on what isn't you, right, and manifest changes, like I said, you know, like, and also like the energy set. <clears throat> It doesn't have to be make or break. It doesn't have to happen overnight. It doesn't have to all happen in January. But the energy for you is with regards to opportunities to kick off or to start 2022 is for you to really understand if you are in the wrong profession, if you are in the wrong area, how can it energetically speaking get better? Reality is it can't. You just get used to situations. But if your soul is not fulfilled by what you're doing, something is off. And should you find yourself in a place where you kind of go like, okay, so now I know that this is all a lot of crap, but I signed up for it. That's what the guides are saying. If you're grounded, you will then be grounded enough to say to the guides, okay, I am willing to put the work in. And then because, you, you know, you with the magenta, you reflect to your inner knowledge. <clears throat> it's about what is it? I really feel I want to know about and then or in time turn this into your profession if that makes sense right so Koreans that's all we got for your general reading for the months of January 2022 like I said this is general reading it might not resonate with all of you but there's always something right and um, that's all we got time for see you next month bye bye